so what's up guys uh, I'm back again today I am going somewhere in this world like I always say right and um, today I guess I just wanted to ask you guys a question um, you know obviously I'm african-american and I haven't did my DNA test my uh, you know blood and swab test to see exactly what part um, or who what peoples I belong to you know people or peoples I belong to because I think a lot of african-americans are probably have more than one ethnic group um, and if you don't know what I mean by ethnic group tribe but one more than one ethnic group inside of them so I think I have three or four ethnic groups probably inside of me more so probably from the what I'm guessing is from the maybe West Africa um, West North Africa and maybe some central maybe possibly East Africa but it's funny, the reason I'm asking this question to you guys today, what you guys think, is because when I'm out, you know, obviously, the I guess with my phenotype and the way I look, you know, I could pass for anything in the Western Hemisphere. You know, I could be Dominican, I could be a black Dominican, I could be a black Puerto Rican, I could be a black Brazilian, um, which is all sort of kind of relative seeing that we all were on the same boat, um, or not necessarily in the same boat, but they pretty much got us wherever they, it was colonized in Africa. They took you to whatever place that they were colonizing. If it's Portugal, it was the black people they took from Brazil, you know, parts of East Africa and uh, West Africa. And um, not so much East Africa that much, but just a little bit when Portugal, uh, I think when they ran mile, mile away for a, a while or something like that, if I could be wrong, but I, some somewhere around there. Um, and so we all have unique looks, obviously. Um, I mean, not unique to the motherland, but unique to what the world thinks a black person is supposed to look like, right? Even though we know that the oldest people come from Africa, um, you know, and you can find every look from a black person in Africa, whether you think that, a like I, the thing I hate when a lot of people be like, oh, you know, dang, that black girl looks Asian. No, you mean that Asian person looks black or that Indian person or that black person looks Indian. No, you mean that Indian person looks black if you have the knowledge of it, right? So I guess back to what I was saying, me, myself, I um, have always been told so many things. So obviously when I'm with any Western hemisphere black person, I can look like whatever. I can look Jamaican if that's there's even a look, I guess. Well, it sort of is in a way because most uh, of them were brought from just one area in Africa um, but you get what I'm saying any anybody in the Western Hemisphere I can be I can be a black Dominican I could be a black Puerto Rican I could be a black Honduran there's somebody there that looks exactly like me so I guess back to what I was saying but in the motherland now every time I'm around different people uh, different black ethnic groups right like my friends uh, some are from uh, you know, Ethiopia, some are from, uh, um, you know, where else? Tanzania, some are from um, uh, Nigeria, different places that, you know, I have a lot of friends from. They come and they tell me, oh, you look Fulani from West Africa. That's I get that a lot. Fulani. I get uh, Ashanti sometimes. Um, sometimes I get, what else do I get? I get a lot of uh, Ethiopian as well, like Ethiopian, different Ethiopian ethnic groups. Some might say I look afar, which I didn't really think I did. I think I sort of kind of have the features they do a little bit, but I, I didn't really think I looked afar that much. Some people say I look Aromo. Um, some people say I look Habasha, um, you know, as far as the amount of groups of ethnic groups that make up the Habasha, I forgot how many it was, four or five or how many ever it was. And so, I've gotten those two things a lot. Now, granted, I don't know every ethnic group in Africa. I try to, and I'm learning every day of new ones and even new looks that registered in my mind. Um, even without in the region, this, the, the, the ignorance of most people in the world that think that every region looks exactly the way that they saw one person from that region. So a lot of people think that the typical West African looks, you know, wide features, right? Wide face, wide nose, blah, blah, this and that. When in all reality, there's a lot of ethnic groups in West Africa that sort of kind of fit that mold, but don't fit that mold all the way. So I guess I'm, this video is sort of basing off of how much you know about how many different ethnic groups in Africa you know and, and the way they look and things like that. Now, I could fool everybody because I, if I do my DNA, it could be a mix of 
ethnic groups in West Africa and Central Africa, or I could be mixed with ethnic groups in East Africa and Central and South or just West. And I could be, I could be just Fulani. I don't know. Maybe not Fulani, but whatever it is, you know, uh, Tareg, Fulani, uh, Ashanti, Ibu, um, Asa. That's a good one too. I never thought about that. Oh yeah, I got that before. Somebody told me that I look uh, Asa. Um, I mean, hopefully I'm saying that right. Asa, I think it's Asa. Asa no, Asa. Somebody said I look like that. Uh, I look like the ethnic group, Asa people, like Asa men. And it was somebody from Nigeria. Um, and I think he was uh, Ibu, I want to say. And so he told me I look Asa. Then I have had people that told me like I look Fulani. Um, and then I've had, you know, some people tell me that I look uh, like Dogon from, from Mali in West Africa. Uh, some of the men. So... I just was making a video today. I don't want to be long winded or anything like that. But I just wanted to know what do you guys think that I, you know, what do you guys think I look like in the motherland? It doesn't have to be one ethnic group. What do you think that I uh, look like as a mix? You know, do you think I look like uh, Fulani mixed with Ashanti and Ibu? Or do you think that I look like uh, Himba, Himba man from South Africa? Or different e ethnic groups in, in Angola? Or, you know, Maybe I'm from Chad. Maybe I'm from Niger. Um, you know, maybe the ethnic groups there. Maybe I am Fulani. Maybe I travel across the desert. Um, maybe, you know, and there's probably not no maybe, but there was a lot of mixing of, if people don't know, and I'm going to do another video about this, but there's a lot of mixing of African Americans as far as African ethnic groups. There was a lot of mixing. So when they would put, um, you know, whatever ethnic group that's in the Western Hemisphere, right? African Americans. Uh, especially other ethnic groups, um, you know, from Haiti, Jamaica, wherever it might be, Brazil, Honduras, um, um, Costa Rica, you know, the South American countries with black populations, you know, or Central America or Caribbeans or America, North American Canadians, African Canadians, which a lot of them were here and then they migrated up. They're African Americans that migrated up. But anyways, um, you know, if you didn't know, they mixed a lot of us up. So they would mix us up. So they would put a Fulani doing coming over on slave ships they would put Fulani with uh, Ibu or Ashanti with Asa or Nubian with uh, you know Dogon or whatever you know wherever they were at wherever, whatever, whatever it was you know uh, afar well not necessarily afar but whatever it was whatever groups that were uh, got colonized and you know as much as people don't want to believe it, every, almost probably, almost every ethnic group, regardless of how powerful you are, at least some of your people, or at least maybe one or two, some people either left, got mixed up in something. So it doesn't necessarily mean just because your people weren't in slavery or whatever, that some of the, your ethnic group didn't, wasn't abroad traveling somewhere and got caught up and bagged up or sold or whatever it might have been. So we have to understand that um, with a lot of African Americans, we can look like a lot of different things because we have a lot of different, Af you know, African so in, 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 Africa. in general. So, um, you know, I just want to know what do you guys think? Do you guys think what ethnic groups or ethnic group do you think I belong to? And, um, you know, I don't really necessarily want to get into the countries because a lot of these countries are made up and they're new and it doesn't have anything to do with the people there. Well, it has things to do with the people there, but, you know, as far as like, ethnic groups they were around when it was different kingdoms and stuff so i don't want to necessarily i don't want to necessarily hear what country you think i'm from well sort of kind of you could tell me what part of that country like what that ethnic group's in but i want to know what ethnic group do you think that i'm from ethnic group or ethnic groups do you think that i'm from um and yo i would just like to hear from you before i do my dna test because i'm probably going to do it pretty soon so i would just like to hear from you and yo as always I'm always driving around this world somewhere and I'm always thinking, you know, from a Afro-centered mind. So I just want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? To all my black people, as always, yo, one love, I'm out. Peace.